What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of my Evil Dead 2 cosplay. In today's episode, we're going to be working on the chest harness and also the shotgun holster in the back. Follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my cosplay journey. And also, please subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, which is a really big milestone for me. That's all I have to say for now as my dog is barking in the background. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and are able to follow along. And I'll see you guys later. Here I have some canvas strap that I got on Amazon. I think I should have gotten a lighter color. I figured it's going to get like really dirty and all that and it's gonna get darker anyway so i might as well just get a darker one to get a good base now you can see here i made two separate drawings this one here is what you're going to be able to see in the front the anterior side of all the straps and then this drawing i did like the back half of all the straps so you put these over together they sh the green and everything that i made should line up here's a closer look at um what the back side of the straps are going to look like and I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna make the shotgun holster last. And what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna use this long one that goes directly vertical over my whole body and wraps around. I'm just gonna take this right now and then just wrap it around my body the same way it's gonna be right here. Now this strap right here is going to have a, an adjustable strap, so I don't really have to worry about the size of that one right now. What I'm really worried about is getting this distance right here between these two rings. And with the help of my ruler, I could just put that on my chest here. And I'm giving that 11 inches. Now keep in mind that you have to leave a little extra so that the strap could wrap around the ring and then you could sew that. These are the rings I'm gonna be using. I found them at a tractor supply. Here are all the dimensions and all that. So each strap is going to wrap around a ring at some point so I'm, I'm gonna give it that much of a crease right here so there is this strap here figuring this out is by trial and error I'm gonna use a regular just little measuring tape here I use this to mark out exactly how long I want this one to be so I marked three quarters right there I'm not gonna use this side I have this tool here which is used to I'm gonna measure it out to where it reaches where I want it to and then tighten it and you see I could drag it across the edge and it'll mark the uh, three quarters of an inch. And then I'll be able to go with some scissors and just cut down that line. I bought these grommets because this is what uh, goes on the leather strap in the front of the chest harness. You can see it's just over three quarters of an inch. I marked exactly three quarters of an inch, maybe just a little bit over. This grommet is supposed to like fit the exact width of the strap. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it maybe just, just a tiny bit over that line. And uh, we could also use it on the back of the, the shotgun holster. So I gave this one uh, five inches to wrap all the way around. Mark five right there. And that is where it meets with the ring. So it enters the ring and then it meets where I marked that five right there. So the grommet just goes through both holes. And make sure I keep both pieces of leather aligned. So now that piece is connected there. So the strapping is pretty much all done and planned out. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna try to make a little diagram, I guess, of like how everything fits together and then the, each type of strapping. You can see here is the amount of uh, strap that I had left. There's about 37 or so inches left. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and sew everything together. I did sew a little bit of this one here. That's just going one way and then back. I'm sure that's pretty much what they had to do, right? I don't think they had a, a sewing machine in that shed. And I'm gonna do that to every single one of these pieces.
So here's the final cutout I have of the leather. Now remember it's 24 long. I decided the entire length of the bottom piece here is gonna be 11 and a quarter inches, also 28.5 centimeters. And then the entirety of the top is gonna be 16 and a half inches or 42 centimeters. I then marked here the midline of the leather and then I went over by a quarter of an inch or a, a whole centimeter. And that's where I'm gonna be placing the six millimeter foam. So I could put it on that line and I also cut it to where it does not reach exactly on the the top or exactly on the bottom just so that it's a little harder to see this if you are um, taller than me i guess and then i have about two and a half centimeters or an inch from the edge over here so that i could still sew and uh, do whatever i need here so i think because the leather i chose is so thin whenever i had this folded over and i put the shotgun through here it just slipped right through i added this foam to add some thickness to try to prevent that it was still sliding through so I just made this little trapezoid here and I'm just going to place that on the bottom here and that's going to be that's going to act as a stopper from the shotgun sliding all the way through. This you can see I took that that layer one layer off. I kind of want to cut it all the way up to like about here. Now before we sew this closed, I need to figure out where to put the little straps on the back of this so that this could be attached to the rest of the harness. So with the help of my brother, I decided that here and here is where I'm going to put the straps that attach this to the harness. How I did that was I put the harness on exactly how I wanted it to fit. I held the, this holster how it is with a shotgun in it. I held that on my back where I wanted it to fit. I asked him to mark where the rings are going to be. So there's one ring here and one ring right here. Here. Now if y'all remember from the little drawing I did before, I wanted both rings to be on the bottom, but I figured that it'll be better if only the top ring's on the bottom and that the bottom ring has the strap on, over it. The top ring is going to stop it from sliding down and the bottom ring is going to stop the holster from scooting up whenever I pull the shotgun out. And then I laid the strap over those markings that he did to line them up. I marked where the strap is landing and then I marked where I wanted to put the little side straps that go over the canvas here. So how I'm gonna attach this is with the same leather that I cut off of the harness here. And then continue to sew that and then do the same thing over here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you have any questions about anything that happened in this video, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm gonna try to get the diagram for the harness done as soon as possible, but I'm still on that time crunch for Halloween right now, and I don't think this chainsaw is gonna do it. And this shirt is way too clean and put together for my liking, so I'm gonna make sure to weather the heck out of this as well. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm almost at a thousand subscribers, and that's a big milestone coming up, so I would really appreciate it if you guys could help me out. But again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and were able to follow along. And I'll see you guys next time in the next episode of whatever I do. Goodbye. Forgot to add these straps.